Okay, so let's get right into it. What we're looking at here is a high-stakes story that's unfolding as we speak. It's got everything, technology, global politics, and a massive battle for the future of artificial intelligence. And it all revolves around this tiny but incredibly powerful piece of hardware, the AI chip. So here's the headline that kicks everything off. Chinese tech giant Alibaba is officially developing a brand new AI chip. Yeah, after a few years of being pretty quiet on this front, they're jumping back into the ring to design custom hardware specifically for AI. And that's the billion dollar question, isn't it? Why now? This move did not happen in a vacuum. It's a direct response to a whole chain of events that are completely reshaping the global tech landscape. To really get why Alibaba is doing this, we've got to zoom out a bit. All right, so first things first, let's take a closer look at Alibaba's plan. What are they actually building? And more importantly, is this their first time at the rodeo? You know, the first thing to realize is that Alibaba isn't starting from zero here, not at all. They actually have their own semiconductor unit called T-Head, and they even released an AI chip way back in 2019. So they absolutely have a foundation to build on. They're not a newcomer to this space. But here's where it gets really interesting strategically. Alibaba isn't planning to sell these chips to anyone, nope. Instead, they're building them for their own cloud services. So their customers will just rent the computing power. This is all about beefing up their own ecosystem, not trying to become the next NVIDIA. So why go through all the trouble of building your own chips if you can just buy them? Well, that question takes us to the real catalyst for all of this. A series of moves from the U.S. government that completely changed the game for every tech company in China. And believe me, this all went down fast. In April, the U.S. blocked the sale of NVIDIA's most powerful top-of-the-line Blackwell chips to China. Then, in August, it gave the green light for a weaker version, the H20. But by then, the message was sent, and China reportedly told its own tech companies to start moving away from American chips. It was a rapid-fire sequence of moves and counter-moves. And we are not talking about a small difference here. The gap between what was banned and what was allowed is, well, it's massive. On one hand, you have the Blackwell chip, NVIDIA's absolute best, the kind of thing you need for truly advanced AI. On the other, you have the H20, a self-described watered-down version designed specifically to get around the restrictions. The performance gap is just huge. So why the ban in the first place? Well, the official line from the U.S. government was that it was all about safeguarding national and economic security. The fear was that giving China access to the most powerful AI technology could become a future threat. So they drew a very clear line in the sand. Now, faced with these restrictions, what did China do? It sparked this massive, coordinated national push for technological self-sufficiency. This isn't just one company deciding to try something new. This is a whole-of-nation response. And they are putting some serious, serious money behind this. Just look at this number. 45 billion euros. That's what Alibaba alone plans to pour into AI in just the next three years. To put that into perspective, that's bigger than the entire annual economy of quite a few countries. This is not a side project. It's a massive commitment. And make no mistake, it is not just Alibaba in this race. A whole ecosystem of homegrown chip champions is rising to the occasion. You've got the giants, like Huawei with their Ascend chips, and then you have other players like Cambricon. They're all racing to fill that void left by the U.S. restrictions. And you can see why they're so motivated to do this. I mean, it really wasn't that long ago that major firms like Alibaba and even ByteDance were admitting our AI development would be hindered without NVIDIA's chips. That is the exact dependency that they are now scrambling to eliminate for good. So when you put all of these pieces together, what do you get? The rhetoric is definitely escalating. And a lot of people are starting to frame this as something much bigger than just a tech rivalry. They're starting to call it a potential AI cold war with enormous global stakes. Now, officially, from the Chinese side, the message is one of de-escalation. You've got President Xi Jinping himself recently calling for international cooperation on AI and explicitly saying we have to reject a, quote, Cold War mentality. But then you listen to a warning from NVIDIA's own CEO, Jensen Huang, 
And he's been incredibly blunt about this. He basically said, look, if my company is blocked from China, that market doesn't just vanish. He predicts that Chinese companies will fill the AI chip void. That is a pretty stark warning about the long-term consequences of all this. But some experts are warning that even calling this a race misses the point entirely. They're using a much more alarming term, a suicide race. The fear is that this intense competition could lead to the rush development of what's called artificial general intelligence, or AGI, an AI so advanced it could replace human workers, and even more critically, start building even more powerful AI all on its own, with consequences that are impossible to predict. So where does all of this leave us right now? Well, the truth is, the future here is being written in real time. All the key players are maneuvering for position in a game that's changing by the day. Here's a quick breakdown of where everyone stands. You've got Alibaba, building its own ship, but for now, still using NVIDIA's. The big question, will their tech be good enough to compete? Then there's NVIDIA. They've lost access to a huge market and are scrambling to see if they can get a new, compliant ship approved. And finally, you have the U.S. government sticking to its security restrictions, but now facing the tough question of how to respond as China's own ship industry gets stronger. And that's really where we are today. The situation is completely fluid. NVIDIA's CEO has confirmed they are actively talking with the U.S. administration about a potential new chip for the Chinese market. The lines of communication are open, but the outcome is, well, it's far from certain. So this leaves us with one profound final question. Are we just watching a high-stakes race for technological supremacy between two global powers? Or, as some experts are starting to fear, are we witnessing the beginning of an AI suicide race with consequences for all of humanity? That's the question at the heart of it all.